and welcome to my winter skincare routine. <laughs> I'm really nervous. This is my first video, but I think go start somewhere, eh? I, yeah, I think I'm gonna start my videos off with something like this because I'm so passionate about skincare, like majorly. Um, I really, really love anything skincare, makeup. But yeah, I, I've been reading Caroline Hyron's book recently. So I feel like, and I've worked with Charlotte Tilbury for four years. So I feel like my, my knowledge of products and what to use is okay. I feel like it could get so much better. And I'd love, to, I love looking into things and using new products to try. But I think everyone's got to start somewhere. So yeah, just got the shower. I, I've just come back from the gym. It is about one o'clock in the afternoon. So this is my morning routine. But because I've been to the gym, I haven't done this yet. So now I've got nice fresh skin. I'm going to do it now. Um, my hands are a little bit orange. It's just where I fake tanned. So yeah, I'm just going to go through step by step what I use. My hair is wet. Um, but I thought it adds to the thing. I've got my nice pink robe on. And yeah, I'm just going to talk to the camera. <laughs> see where this goes. So, step one. I double cleanse everyone's got a double cleanse especially when i'm in work and i'm wearing makeup all day and especially now with all these masks like i've been struggling with my masks have been with spots slowly getting there like i feel like this side's actually quite good this is all just scarring and pigmentation but and these are just scabbed these aren't actual spots anymore um i feel like i'm slowly getting there with how i want my skin to be it's still not there yet but yeah, a double cleanse is so important. So after reading Caroline Hyron's book, I bought eight flannels. She says to have seven and then one for when you're washing all of them, which is fab. I've never, I was following skincare by Hyron and I also loved his, um, sorry. I also loved his videos too and the things he was recommending, but I find them both quite different. I swear he said that he doesn't like a towel or a flannel because it's quite harsh on the skin and then caroline hyron said to use it so yeah i've been using them and i actually love the way it takes off my makeup i have such big eyes that i really struggle to get eye makeup off so using something like this with my double cleanse really helps so product wise i've recently just rebought this so i worked for bobby brown about three years ago um and this was always one of my staples I love their cleansing oil. I think it really does remove a whole face of makeup so well, um, especially around the eyes when you're wearing a lot of eye makeup. So I just apply that all over the face, damp my flannel down, wash it off. And then I have been using the CeraVe Essay Smoothing Cleanser. Also, I've really loved this. Um, I am completely out. I don't know if you can see, that's all I have left is down here. It is amazing. I think the next time I'll try the hydrating cleanser, I don't know if with the rest of my routine, I'm using too much acid. And obviously this has got salicylic acid inside and ceramides and hyaluronic acid. But I use all of them inside my skincare routine as well. So I'm just going to give the other one a go when this runs out. But if I'm not using those two, I did go and purchase the double cleanse from Pixie, the Caroline Hyrens the one she recommends because it's hers but it is really good i do think it's a bit pricey for the size and the amount of products you get like it is amazing but you can see there's literally not much and for somebody like me who wears makeup every day you're just not going to get the full use out of it um but that just comes with a solid cleansing oil so it's a bit like um coconut oil just use that spread it over the face wash it off and then you've got like a cleansing cream, which I love. It's really gentle on the skin. It makes my skin feel really nice. And if I'm not using those two, um, like those two different cleansers, I do quite like to use the Charlotte Tilbury um, double cleanse, but I'm just completely out at the moment and I'm waiting for another order to come. But that one again has a citrus oil cleanser and then a charcoal cleanser. But again, that's never really irritated my skin. I think it really does deep clean. You feel really nice after using it. So yeah, so then... My damp flannel, just wash off the second time as well. Just dry the face down and then off we go. So, on to my next step. So, like I said, I've been following Caroline Hyron's routine. So, after she cleanses, she says to use, like, um, your version of, like, a tonic. So, like, an acid almost. So, this is my morning routine that I'm going through now. I double cleanse in the morning and in the night. Um, 
and I'll go through my night routine at the end because it's not very much and I'll explain why at the end. Mm -hmm. But these are the two acids I love to use. So my friend, my good friend from work actually really recommended me this and this is my third one, I'm obsessed. Um, it's the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant Salicylic Acid. Um, I find this really help my skin texture. I'd have a lot of bumps on my forehead, um, my cheeks. I had really, really big blackheads. Like I have really deep pores on my nose. It's just genetic. I follow my mum for it, bless her. But I find it really, really does help with that. And then the Pixie Glow Tonic. This is glycolic acid. Again, I've had this for actually ages, but this is what Caroline Hyrens actually recommended. Um, it's nice on my skin. It's an exfoliating tone and like I find it doesn't irritate me, doesn't make me come out in spots. So yeah, I love them both. I much prefer the Paula's Choice. I'm at a bit of like a do I don't I with acids at the moment just because I'm using a product that's quite harsh in the night time and I recommend not to use a big skincare routine. But my skin is looking quite good at the moment. More so this side, hence why I'm sitting this way rather than this side. But I've got photos, which I can insert, of what my skin was like around three weeks ago. And after using the product that I'll mention later, it has just, like, completely transformed. So, yeah, so let's apply this. I'll apply my pH, my Paula's Choice. All I do on a little cotton, but, uh, cotton pad, sorry. And I'll just wipe it over the face. It's really easy to use. It smells... A bit like chemically but like not much at all like it really hasn't got that much of a fragrance like not something you can't bear to put on your face so here we go you can see my face instantly going red but it's not burning like it never hurts and see i've cleansed last night this morning and it does just get off all of that dirt so i love it okay next so i love this this is the only mist i use so she says next in her book if i'm getting things wrong and i've misread the book i'm sorry but this is just why the way i've been doing my skincare routine and i think it's the way she recommends but i might be using stuff wrong in the wrong way but this is what i think is right <laughs> so sorry but anyway she recommends using a hydrating mist after using your acid so i literally my manager from work recommends me this it's the vitamin e um Hydrating Mist by Superdrug. Superdrug's own make. It's like two ninety nine, three ninety nine. It's always in a deal, like buy one, get one half price. And I've had mine for ages and I've still got loads left. It's just really nice. It just feel it doesn't again, I I feel like I do suffer with quite sensitive skin and it's very easy for me to break out. So it is quite nice, refreshing, really does hydrate. So yeah, I love the I love the wet look. I love the glowy face. But yeah, I always just try to fan it down. I always try to find, I sort out my turban. Oh, here we go. I've got a, um, an envelope over here. Let's use this just to dry that down. So I'm a skincare fanatic and over this pandemic, I have bought so much. Oh, I'm sorry if I keep looking. I keep looking at myself and speaking. Is it a big problem? I'm not too sure. I, that's why I keep looking back and forth. Sorry. So yeah. <laughs> My mind's got blank. <laughs> serums. That's next. Serums. So in the daytime, I much prefer to use my Charlotte Tilbury serum. You can see I'm literally out and it is so worn down. Um it's just so nice. I love it. It really gives your skin a glow. It says it's crystal infused. It has replexium inside of it, which is an ingredient we talk about a lot in work. Um, it's a product, it's an ingredient that only Charlotte Tilbury uses at the moment. And it's really good for fine lines and aging skin. However, I know I'm not, I'm 21 going on 22 next week or the week after. And I know I've not got aging skin, but it's always good to start early. And you do see such a difference with this. Um, it's crystal infused. So if you're into all of the crystals the mantra the um manifestation which i've really started to get into recently um yeah it's just really nice i really really like it and it sits really well under makeup so yeah i'm gonna apply some of this one and i'll talk through some others i use but it comes with a little pipette and 
I just literally use like two or three drops and just. I've been like, not brought up, but since I've been working at Tilbury and I was 17 when I started there. Hang on, is that right? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 17 going on 18 when I started there. Um, really didn't know much about skincare, much about makeup. But this is something that's always been drilled into me is the Charlotte Magic Touch, like the uh, massage. So I sort of just like butterfly wing it under the cheekbones, sort of pinch the chin. Feels really nice, especially when someone else does it for you. It's a shame you can't have this done by someone else every day. Um, so yeah, this is my serum. I love the nice cinnamide by The Ordinary. This was more part of my old nighttime routine, but I have started to use this in more daytime as well at the moment. You can see again, all of my products are literally coming to the end, but luckily it's my birthday and Christmas around the corner. <sighs> Look at my hair. Sorry, let's just tuck that in. Um, yeah, and I like hyaluronic acid too. I know these are acids, but if you actually search online, because I was really confused with whether I should be using these as my first step or as my serums, but they are actually counted as serums on their website so I've been using them as a serum and I've not noticed any change like in terms of it irritating my skin or not working well with my makeup I love this eye cream the caffeine I've really struggled with eye creams I really have um I've tried quite a few and I find my under eyes get really dry so I use the ordinary caffeine solution um which was really nice but it's, again, like, I didn't see much of a difference. Whereas this, I feel like the colour under my eyes, like, I used to get really dark bags. But I feel like it's quite smooth now, which I've actually really only just noticed. Sorry, I'm looking into the mirror here. I think it helps that I have a bit of nice lighting on me. But yeah, I just, you meant to pat, but I feel like I pat my skin quite hard. Like, I see these girls do it on YouTube and online and they're just so gentle with the way they tap their eyes i don't understand that's another topic anyway so yeah eye cream on we got the serum on and then it's moisturizer so something i was going to do which i've forgotten i've just seen it but it's fine is i'll quickly mention masks which is what you're meant to do i just do them once a week i have the ordinary aha once a week literally like two three drops you don't need much apply it with your fingers leave it on for no more than 10 minutes i set a timer for nine and then take it off it does burn same for the oh it's not that one it's this one the salicylic acid mask from the ordinary this is quite new it wasn't what i expected it's black quite grainy so it's quite exfoliating um but yeah it's nice i got not irritated my skin I feel like all these products together are really helping my skin. So I can't say what I've seen a huge difference since using one product. I'd say the Paula's Choice, since I use that, I've seen a huge difference in my skin. And the product that I'll talk to you about in a minute, the one I keep mentioning, is amazing. So yeah. So then in the day, moisturiser. I use my Magic Cream Light. I have been the world's biggest fan of Magic Cream since I started working there. and could afford to get it. It's amazing i love it the light version just has a higher spf but i found the older i've gotten the oilier my skin's gotten i used to suffer with really dry skin but now it's turned more combination oily so i think this just i don't know it complements my skin type better it doesn't add to the oil or anything which i think my skin got a bit used to me using the old magic cream like the original because i'd used it for so long that my, I found my skin and my makeup was starting to go a little bit greasy. Um, it's still beautiful. I think it's better for aging skin. And I think it's better if you suffer with really dry skin. But if you're like me and you're oily, this is the one. It's lush. And it also has UV, um, no, blue light protection. Which I didn't realise was a thing until I started working at Tilbury. And I'm constantly on my phone, constantly looking at a screen. So if it's helping with that, then it's got to be good really, haven't it? A little bit of lip balm. I like to use the Dr. Lip Lip Dr. Lip Nipple Balm. It's just lush. I know it's for your nipples, but it does leave a really nice seal on the lips. Because if you can see, I've got 
a bit of like skin missing in the middle. It's just like, oh, my lips get so dry. I hate it. This time of year, my skin just doesn't know what it wants. It doesn't know if it wants to be oily, if it wants to be dry. Like around my lip area recently, you can see the spots here, which is so annoying. Um, I've been getting really dry and flaky. But I also think that's a side effect of the product that I'll be talking about now. I know I keep talking about it, I should just already start, but we're almost there. If I'm having more of a natural day and I'm not going to be wearing makeup, I don't want to keep using this. Like, it's like my special one. It's my nice one. So I'll just go in with the Cera V moisturising lotion. I bought this the same time as the cleanser. This is still up here. That's all gone. So it just shows the difference in amount you use. But I love it. Okay, so that's my daytime. Oh, no, it's not. I forgot the most important thing. SPF. Um, I love SPF. And this one's actually really nice and so cheap. So I never used to use it ever. I'd say only this past year. Maybe not even the year. I've only just started using SPF religiously. I think it was never a big thing, you know. I travelled around Italy with my best friend two years ago now and we would sun bed oh, every other day if we could. We just wanted to be so tanned. We were living our best girl life, honestly, having the most amazing time. But I think recently the whole idea of sun damage and SPF, the importance of it, has really like been big. And I think reading Caroline, Sky, Caroline Hiron's book, listening to work, Charlotte Tilbury, they're so, I wish they'd bring out one, but they're starting to up the SPF in their products as well. But this one, Bondi Sands, I think it was like 5 dollars lasted me so long. It is lovely. It's not sticky. It's not fragranced. It doesn't irritate your skin. It doesn't make you spotty, which I was really worried with, with wearing SPF. And yeah, that is my day day routine and what I tend then is to go in with is I've since lockdown I've really like gone off wearing huge amounts of makeup I'll either wear my drunk elephant sunshine drops these were like 35 quid so not worth it but I use it because I have it it just if I'm fake tanned I don't really tend to tan my face anymore because it just makes me spotty um so I get really pale in the face I'll use my Healthy Glow by Tilbury Tinted Moisturiser. Or I'll just go in, if I'm doing a full face, with my primer, with my foundation. And then go from there. Oh, look at this. I don't even want to take it down because it's going to look a mess. <laughs> I've made it look so much worse, but it's fine. It's fine. So, yeah. I'll just go in with my primer, foundation, and then do my full face. So, that's my skincare routine. In the mornings, I'm not going to lie, I would never, ever do all of that ever um but caroline's changed my life and for the better because i've started to see a huge difference it does take a while but anyway i'm going to go into my nighttime routine which is very similar but very different so it used to involve a lot of these products and then in the morning i wouldn't use them didn't realize the importance of using a lot of products in the morning and night um but yeah so i'll use my cleansers that i mentioned earlier to remove my makeup I've been using the Take It Off by Charlotte Tilbury. Been there for four years, was never really the biggest fan. And then I had like a miniature version and I was using it like a few weeks ago and I really liked it. It was really taking off my eye makeup well. So I invested and bought a full size and I really, really like it just to take off my eye makeup. And if I'm wearing like a matte lip, which is very rare. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love that. So I'll cleanse, do that, cleanse my face and then come back. And then this is the product that I've been mentioning throughout the whole time I've been recording is the Dermatica Skin. It's basically a product that's made by dermatologists for you. You tell them what the issues are with your skin. They'll make up a formula for you. It is bloody strong. Like my face burnt the first time I put it on. I know it's not a good thing. But I think the amount of products I've used throughout my time, they all burnt when I first put them on. It's just your skin getting used to it. Um, oh my god, the difference in my skin is unreal. I will insert photos now. So you can see, ignore this. I don't know why I keep getting like tiny spots, but then they end up scabbing. I don't know if it's a result of this because it is making my skin drier. Um, I found it's really helped with blackheads on my chin. At one point I had such 
big blackheads and I don't know what was going on. Um, but yeah, so I'll wash my face. I'll come in and I'll put this on. <laughs> the only thing I'd say is they send you one month's month. This is my first month. So I can't, I'm swearing by it, but it's, I've only used it for a month. Um, it's not much product in it. Like after two weeks, I was st struggling to get it out of the pump. Um, because a little bit really doesn't go a long way. So you do have to use enough that's going to cover. But yeah, I'll apply that, leave it set into my skin for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I'll just go in with a nighttime moisturiser. So I do have the CeraVe PM moisturiser, which I like to use with it. Or if I'm being lazy, because this is always the closest thing to me, I'll just pop some of that on. I have just invested in well not invested that's a lie it's a free month again i know i'm cheap but student life what can we do so it's essentially the same thing i think my let me check my okay so they're different ingredients so i'll st i'll do an update on what i got on better with um my friend actually recommended me this one more so than dermatica she said her skin's really gotten along well with this um, this one has niacinamide, zinc, pyrithium, and slin slindamycin. They're my prescriptions for the skin and me. But in the Dermatica, I was on tetratonin, niacinamide, azaleic acid. So actually different things. So I don't, oh, I didn't realise that. I sent the same photos, said the skin, same skin problems. So I'll see which one I get along with, actually. Because as amazing as this is, you know, I still have been suffering with little... Especially around my mouth. I think it is the masks, though, when I've been working, you know, eight, nine hour days. It's not helping. This is just one of those mishaps. I'm not really counting that. But around my mouth and chin, that's where I tend to get it. So we'll see if this works. I haven't started using this one yet though, because I just want to use all of that. It's going to be a waste otherwise. And then from there, I'll decide which one I actually want to monthly subscribe to because it's 20 pounds a month. Um, and then last but not least, first video. I feel like I've sort of found my feet now, speaking to the camera. I hope I haven't bored anybody. If I have, that's even if anybody's watching. But I think it's good for my confidence just to start filming, start getting used to it because this is something I've wanted to do for so long. So anyway, in my night time, my holy grail, you really can't tell right now, but let's do this. My lashes. I always get a lot of compliments on my lashes. They're not the best they've been because I did go through a little break of using it and they, once you stop, you have like, they do go back bad, is the Revitalash Serum. It's expensive, like so expensive. Um, but it's bloody worth it. It's an eyelash conditioner. You literally just apply it along the lash line. I use it every night. Um, actually, I'll put some on now. And it just really helps them grow. I'd say with the thickness of my lashes, maybe not so much, but the length, oh my God, once you killed your mascara on, you're ready to go, honestly. I'm obsessed. Um, they do smaller sizes. I buy the giant one because I know how much I love it. I've been using it for around two, three years now. Um, so I spend big bucks. I spend about £100 on this, but it does last me the entire year. And what I always get told is, think if you've got eyelash extensions, it costs you 60, 70 quid to have them fitted, £25 every two weeks to get them refilled, which they look amazing, actually. Like, I love false lashes. I probably will get them in the summer. But... I think for somebody like me who's in a job where you can't wear eyelashes, but you have to wear a lot of eye makeup, I love a lot of mascara, especially because I have big eyes. So I think it just really helps and I love it. So yeah, this is my skincare routine and I can't believe I've actually finished filming. So if you have watched, thank you so much. Like I'm really, I'm just sat here talking and waffling. It's nice that I have a free house, but yeah, thanks guys. Um, I'll see you in the next one.